Hi everyone, my name is Edirne Edewo, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing something that I honestly considered shocking just a couple minutes ago, and did not know that people didn't know this information. But now that I know, you get to realize what happens is that um, I run a Facebook community called Online Publishers and Entrepreneurs Network, where I teach people how to get published and also publish on international platforms. Majority of the people who are on my platform are people of African uh, descent and people from African nations, especially Nigeria, where I'm originally from. And I got um, a, a message, I guess, on my Facebook and someone from my group sent me a message and was asking me if I could please share with him uh, a step-by-step -step process to ordering a book on Amazon. Initially, I, I thought I wasn't reading right. Like I was, you know, like everybody should know how to do this, but you no, know, I learned my lesson. Um, never assume anything about people. The fact that you know something doesn't mean that, you know, other people know it as well. So I proceeded to, you know, um, give this person a step-by-step -step process via text as a reply to his DM. But, you know, after sending it, did a couple more research, sent some more answers to share other options. I realized that it's possible that there are a lot of people out here who don't know that they could actually access the over 10 million books that are available on the Amazon bookstore, which is the, the biggest bookstore in the world. And um, so many people are denying themselves access to knowledge and books, even authors who are published don't even know how to even tell, you know, their readers and their audience members how to publish. And I'm very, very grateful for that uh, message because it led me to do um, some research that showed me something really, really cool that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, as long as you can get published, anybody anywhere around the world can buy and read your books without them even having the Kindle reading app on their phones or having the Kindle cloud reader on their phones either. They don't have to have the app. They don't have to have you know, a reader. They don't have to have the Kindle tablet either to even be able to purchase your book. Anybody anywhere now, as long as they can log into amazon.com, can actually purchase your book. So first of all, I'm going to share a step-by-step -step process, which if you're an author and you're already published on Amazon, you probably want to share this link with member of your, members of your audience and your reader audience to show them how they can actually order your own books on Amazon, OK? So um, I'm going to be sharing with you the step-by-step -step process to doing this. Then I will share with you how you can actually read whatever book you buy on the Amazon Kindle store or the Amazon um, um, stores, how you can read them anywhere at any time, okay? So first of all, um, for somebody to be able to purchase anything on Amazon, whether they're purchasing physical products or purchasing uh, Kindle books, they have to have an Amazon account, which anybody anywhere can do. Simply sign on to Amazon.com, okay? <laughs> it's Amazon.com. Um, go on your red, whatever browser you use, sign up to amazon.com and then you will be signed up. Then, you know, you want to put your names and your email addresses and a couple more information, including like two-factor authentication. Once you've done that, you've logged in, you will usually be logged into um, their homepage, whether it's on browser or on your phone or on your laptop or on your tab, it's usually about the same thing. Okay, so I currently live in Dubai, so that's why I shows my location here as delivered to Dubai. If you can see this on the top left hand side of my screen, and on the top right hand side, you can also see hello, Edirin accountant. Is you can see like I can see all my accounts, all the things I've ordered in the past, my browsing history, and even how to you know check my memberships and subscriptions. Okay, so let's say you are an author and you want to buy your book or you are somebody who has a friend who's an author, or you've heard about a particular book and you want to buy this book on Amazon. What you can do is you simply come down here to the search bar. Uh oh, I went too far, far ahead. Uh, come down to the search bar, okay, where it shows the search bar. You can tell the search bar, this massive white space with the, um, with the search uh, lens there. You can either type the name of the book or the name of the author. Many times if it's a brand new book, when you type the name of the book, it may be difficult for you to find. So for example, I want to type one of my books called The Business of Writing Books, right? The Business of Writing Books. Um, it's not the top because <laughs> probably because I'm not as famous as the other people who have these uh, books here. I can see writing that works. 
the only business writing book you will ever need, blah, blah, blah. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling through. I can't find my book, which is kind of sad because all these books, as you can see, are all bestsellers and that particular book is not a bestseller. I'm sure if I go to like the second or the third page, I'll probably see the book. So because I can't find the book easily, I will go to actually type the name of the author. So it's my book. So I'm going to type my name, Edirin Edewo. By the way, if you're somebody who's in the business of actually writing books, you definitely should check out that particular book. So I've written a number of books. So when I search my name, every book I have written will then show up. So this one, for example, is a workbook, $100,000 in 30 days workbook. Then the ATG of Ebook Publishing is another very popular book. I think the books have been run, ranked by popularity. But anyway, I scroll down and then I see the actual book I'm looking for. The business of writing book is pretty, it's doing pretty well. Now, all you need to do is you, should I, you either click on the image of the book or you click on the title of the book itself. So I click on, let's say, the image. Now, many books that are published on Amazon usually are published in multiple formats. So they can be published as a Kindle book. Kindle basically means the ebook version, the digital version. Then, or you can see it published as a paperback. Paperback means the physical hardcover, physical copy version. Then there are some other books sometimes that are also published um, in audio version. So they will have the audio book version. So for example, let me look for a particular book called We Were Dreamers by Simu Liu, which I actually have the audio book of, okay? So I click on uh, the, the cover of the book, and um, I already have the audio book. So you can see that his book has multiple versions. So he has a hardcover version, he has the Kindle version, he has the audio book version. The audio book version, can, you can buy the audio book version of the book if you want, and you would have to have what is called the Audible app, or you have to be signed into Audible. Audible is basically Amazon's audio book publishing platform. All right, so if you have the audio version of your book, you could actually publish that as Audible as well. But I'm not buying Simulius book because I already have it. Going back to my previous example. So now let's say, for example, I want to buy the Kindle version of my book. On the right hand side, you will then see buy now. You will see buy now with one click for me because I have enabled this feature on my account. For another person, you will just see probably buy now or add to cart, whatever it is that may show there, then you see at the bottom, deliver to your Kindle library, okay? So whether you have a Kindle, whether you do not have a Kindle, it doesn't matter if you always deliver to your Kindle library, all right? Your Kindle library is basically a, a, a cloud library where your eBooks that you buy or your Kindle books that you buy from Amazon are stored there in the cloud. It's kind of like Google Drive, but for Kindle books, okay? Everyone will have a Kindle library when you have an Amazon account. So if I click on the Kindle version, I can buy it and then it will be delivered to my Kindle library. Also important to note is that Amazon will not send an email to you with a download link that you should download the book, no. Amazon protects the uh, copyright of, of, of copyrights of its authors so that when you publish a book on Amazon and people buy the Kindle version, they cannot download the book and then end up sharing it to whoever, but they can always read the book inside of their Kindle library, okay? So when somebody, when you buy this book, for example, it will be delivered to your Kindle library, you will get an email uh, from Amazon saying, hey, your, your, your purchase has been complete or your purchase was successful and you will see the title and you see how much you paid and all of that. And you can read the book in your library. So you may be saying, okay, what's this Kindle library and how do I access this library? Again, the paperback version, if you click to buy the paperback version, you will have to then impute your shipping details. There you'll be able to see shipping fees and import fees, including the paperback uh, price itself that you would uh, need to pay when you are adding to cart or buying now and then checking out, okay? When you click to buy now or check out or you know, whichever one you wanna do, you will be then prompted to add your payment details. So your credit, your credit or debit card details. So you add your ATM card details, no matter where you are from, from from the world, uh, most people's credit cards or debit cards should be able to work as long as it's MasterCard or Visa. I don't think Verve 
works. For those of you who are my Nigerian um, audience members, Verve may not work, but it's possible that your MasterCard or your Visa would work. If you have a domiciliary account, since you're paying in dollars, I would advise you to use your domiciliary account details instead. If you don't have that and you only have cards in Naira's, by all means, use that as well. It works for me. I, I pay in Naira's, even though I live in a different country right now, I still pay a lot of things in Naira's. If for some reason you're having difficulties with your Naira cards, then go to barter.co, B-A-R-T-E-R, -E I think, dot C-O. Barter is a, a brand that was created by Flutterwave. Uh, it's a Nigerian um, fintech company that allows you to be able to create dollar virtual cards that you can fund in Naira. So you can create these virtual ATM cards sort of, and then add those ATM card details to your Amazon account. Then you fund that card in Naira and it automatically will be converted to the dollar equivalent. And you can use that to easily pay for anything anywhere around the world, okay? So if you're here, you're struggling with paying for stuff with your Naira card or you, the limits are not enough for you, that's another way to do that. Again, I'm not promoting those people. I'm not being paid to promote them. I'm just sharing what works for me and what works for my audience members, okay? So now there are many ways in which you can actually read your Kindle books. When you <laughs> come down to Kindle, at the bottom, you'll see this read with our free app. Once you click on that, um, they will basically show you that you can download the free Kindle app and start reading Kindle books instantly on your smartphone, tablets, or computers. You don't need a Kindle device. I will talk about that in a minute. Okay. Now, Amazon has a Kindle reading app in the app stores that you can download. And that Kindle reading app is basically where your Kindle library is located. Okay. You can, uh, your Kindle library is located, you can be located in your Kindle reading app. So, you can download the app on your phone or your laptop or your um, iPad or whatever tablet that you use. However, the Kindle reading app is not available in most African app stores and play stores. I know this because I am Nigerian. And when I was in Nigeria, I couldn't access the Kindle app on my Nigerian um, app store. I use an iPhone, so I had app store. Okay, so I had to actually sign in and change my region in order for me to then have access to the Kindle app. But a lot of people may not know how to change the regions on their app stores or their Google Play stores, so they may not be able to have the app. Okay, now <laughs> that is a huge bummer, and I honestly don't know why that is. I honestly don't know why. I've been working on trying to get their attention so that they can have the Kindle app on the Nigerian and most other African app stores because we, we all read here anyway. But um, to get the Kindle app, if you're not in Nigeria, if you're in a country, if you're listening to me and you're in a country where you actually can have access to this, just simply take up your phone, turn on your phone mobile camera and then scan the code below. For some people who've never tried it before, if you have an uh, iPhone, you should be able to do it. Once you scan it, you just see the link above uh, your screen. And if you tap on it, it will take you to where you can download the app or simply go to your app store or play store and type Kindle and you'll be able to see the Kindle reading app, all right? And um, so that's it. If you're somebody who does not have that feature on your phone, maybe you use some Android phone that do not have the ability to be able to scan with your camera, simply get a QR scanner. There are many apps on your App Store and Play Store that have a Kindle QR scanners that can help you to be able to scan a QR codes and be taken or redirected to the link. Now, there's another option. You can also read instantly on your browser, whether you're reading on your, your phone browser or your tablet browser or your laptop browser, you can easily read with your Kindle Cloud Reader. Kindle Cloud Reader allows you to be able to download a Kindle Cloud Reader, kind of like a web application on your favorite browser of choice so that when you buy a particular book, you can actually read it on your Kindle Cloud Reader. It allows you to be able to sign into your Kindle library on that Cloud Reader. So it allows you kind of like plays like an app sort of but for major platforms, okay? Now, the easiest way to actually read any book, even if you don't have the Kindle app, 
even if you don't have, uh, you know, the, the Kindle tablets or whatever, is to go to simply read dot amazon dot com read dot amazon dot com is basically giving you access to your kindle cloud or your kindle um your kindle library okay every book that you buy you can find them on read dot amazon dot com if you've never signed into read dot amazon dot com before it will also it will prompt you to sign in using your amazon login details, okay? Because I'm already automatically logging, this is my laptop and my browser. So when I go to read.amazon.com, it automatically just signs in. So this is my Kindle library, all right? I have hundreds and hundreds of Kindle books I have bought on Amazon over the years. So these are just an ex some examples of some of the books that I already have on my Kindle library. So you can see <laughs> so so many books here okay so whenever i buy a book it will then appear in my kindle library okay they're all here so i can even make notes i can increase the font i can flip pages and so on and so forth okay this is the last book that i bought i think uh miracles of your mind by joseph murphy and once i click on the title that i want to read it will basically open whether it's on my laptop or on an ipad or a tablet or on a phone on a mobile phone you can actually read books so whenever you want to buy a book on the amazon kindle store or the amazon store itself you can don't worry about will i be able to see this book will i be able to read it the answer is yes a lot of people did not know this and i didn't even know that you could do this on mobile till today and i was so excited to share this with you so this is a book i recently bought and this is the book and i'm not sure if i'm allowed to show all of these copies but yeah so these are that's it for the kindle reading app. So you can do this on your phone, you can do this on your tablet, you can do this on your laptop. So you never have to worry about whether you can or cannot buy a book on Amazon anymore. Whether you're from Nigeria or Ghana or Sudan or Syria alone or wherever you're from that they don't have the Kindle app on your app store, you never have to worry about it again because with the Kindle library, you can actually go to read.amazon.com and actually see all your books and read them. As long as you're able to connect to the internet, you can easily just read it. So whether you're using a Chrome, Google Chrome browser, or you're using Safari, or you're using Fire, or I think there's another one. Again, I can't remember all the names of the browser, but most browsers, especially if you're using a Google Chrome browser, they support the Kindle library. So remember to just have it uh, written and remembered, or you can just download like maybe a a page to your home screen so that it's easy for you to just click and then go there straight up okay so there's that if you're like me and you don't always want to read on your phone and you don't have a tablet yet and a laptop is too cumbersome for you to read you can easily get an amazon kindle tablet okay amazon kindle tablet is just like a regular tablet only that is made by amazon and comes already pre-installed with the uh, kindle app and the Audible app and other Amazon related apps as well. Okay, so it comes with apps. Some of them even come with um, uh, free uh, Kindle Unlimited for up to a year. Some of them, I don't know how many, and you can get them for as little as $125 only. So it's basically the same price as a regular tablet. All right, just that it's made by Amazon. And whenever you buy your books, you'll be able to get them on your Kindle library. So you never have to worry about if I buy this book and I lose my phone, will I still be able to access the books? The answer is yes. If you buy a new phone, just go to read.amazon.com and you'll get the same books. You never have to worry about losing your ebooks again. You also never have to worry about building a physical library because you can basically carry thousands of books in your in your tablet okay you can carry thousands of books i have one as well i bought it in 2019 I actually bought it in my when i was still in nigeria and um, it's been absolutely fantastic and a lifesaver i just you know, carry it wherever i'm going to if i have to travel i never have to worry about carrying physical books i just carry my kindle tablets and i have hundreds of books to choose from and it's absolutely amazing so these are the different ways in which you can actually you know, read the Kindle books that you offer.
then if you are buying audio books, I promise I was going to talk about this in this video as well. If you're buying audio books, again, you never have to worry about losing your audio books or if you change your device or your device gets bad, how do you get your audio books? Again, you can get listen to your audio books on your tab. A good thing about the, our app stores from all around the world is that the audio book is available. The Audible app, not the audio book, the Audible app, is an Amazon company app that basically puts together and congregates all their audio books for people to be able to listen to. The Audible app is available on all app stores. So even though the Kindle app is not available in app stores like the Nigerian or Ghanaian app store, the Audible app, funny enough, is actually available. I've had the Audible app on my phone since 2014 when I first got to know about audio books and the Audible app. And I've been using it since. Okay, so you can download the Audible app again. All you need to do is just sign in with your Amazon account, and all the books that you purchase on Amazon.com, all the audio books will be instantly available. So these are like books that I've ordered recently. Like I told you, I have similes with we Dreamers, and I listen to the audio version. I really love it. I'm listening to it again for the second time because I really enjoyed it the first time and I really wanted to digest it as I have Believe It by Jamie Kern and uh, other books as well. And you can actually listen to podcasts on Audible as well. There are a lot of free podcasts on Audible. And if you have Audible, there are certain books that actually come with your Audible membership. So you can either buy the books at whatever prices they are or you can subscribe to an Audible membership at about $14 and some fractions every month. And every month you get credited a free credit, like a token sort of, where you can actually purchase an audio book for free, no matter the cost. So there are certain audio books that are up to like $30, but even with your $14 and whatever cents, per month, you can actually purchase those really, really expensive um, books, okay? So I'm on the membership because it's just easier for me to buy books with those, all right? So this is another way in which you can actually listen to books. And I want to encourage people who are out there to try making audio versions of your books, especially for people who are blind or who have trouble um, seeing very well so that they can also enjoy your knowledge as well, okay? So I hope this has been really helpful. I know this has been quite long, but I really want to really explain a lot of things so you don't have to ask so many questions in the comment section. But if you still have any questions concerning anything I have shared here with you, please let me know in the comments section at the bottom, all right? And um, I'm going to link the different links I've shared with you again in the description of this video, how to sign into on, on Amazon, the Kindle um, library that you can, the, the website that I shared with you, and also the Audible, is especially how to sign into those Audible and the links that you need. And if you're here and you're thinking that, hey, you know what, I have a book, I'm an author, I have a book, but I would really like to get published on a platform like Amazon so that people from around the world can actually access my book and buy my book and open me to open me up to actually earning income from all around the world like I do. I want to share with you um, one of my courses that is called the Amazon Printer Profit Bundle. And in that course, I take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to create like an Amazon Kindle direct publishing account. This is especially for publishers and how to get published, how to publish a Kindle book, how to publish a paperback book where you don't have to pay for printing for people to event, for people to be able to get printed copies of your books. You never ever have to run out of paperback versions of your book using Amazon. I'm going to share all this with you. Um, in that course, I'm also sharing with you how you can actually sell in fact, I'm going to give you a bundle, a bundle where I have everything that has to do with self-publishing, the self-publishers toolkit. It's going to contain the Amazon printed profits that basically takes you to the process of how to create an Amazon KDP account, how to publish and how to get your book on Amazon. Then another course that teaches you how to sell your book and make your first six figures. Another course that teaches you how to make, you know, how to get large numbers of people to actually buy your books and how you can make a lot of money from your books, not just by selling the books alone. And finally, another amazing course called Amazon Traffic Secrets, where I'm going to be showing you how to drive traffic to book that you have on Amazon, okay? So I'll, the link to that is going to be in the description of this video as well. And I'm so excited to share this with you. I've been teaching this for five years. I've helped over 1,500 people get published. Over 300 of them have become Amazon bestsellers, and I want you to also have the opportunity to do so as well. Doesn't matter where you are, 
from all around the world, the knowledge applies to you. Okay, so I'm going to put all the links uh, in the description of this video. If you are just coming here by happen chance, please remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever I post you know, things like this for you. I always post tutorials, things about Amazon publishing, book writing, you know, making money online and so on and so forth. So you always have really, really great content. Also check out my other content in my uh, platform and on my channel as well, okay? And then follow me on social media as well. I'll be very happy to, to see your responses. Again, if you want me to do tutorials for any other thing that you don't understand concerning um, Amazon, concerning online publishing, or you have questions that you'd like me to answer, please ask them in the comment section and I'll be very, very happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in another video.